What's going on, family? Hello. Happy Thursday Night Live. Happy Thursday. Let me increase this volume just a touch. Make sure you can hear us. Let us know if you can <coughs> hear us. There we go. So how is everybody doing? I, Welcome to our live stream. Yeah, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. We it's official. Green. Spring is here. Yes, it is. It is. So, like, in a day, we've gotten rid of all of our background that had our lucky charms on it. Yep. And now we're we're headed to Easter bunnies and chicky babies. Love chicky babies. Our chicky babies are about almost a year old. They, yeah, right, they are. Well, I don't even remember what their hatching date was. Well, it was, it was May, like May 18th. So. Getting close. So, it is, uh, what? Two weeks away from Easter. Yeah, is everybody's belly and refrigerator still full of corned beef, is my question. We have a little bit left. I forgot to post on Instagram, I'll have to put it up there. The only thing to me better than corned beef and cabbage day is the day after corned beef and cabbage day when you have like a really kick butt omelet with the corned yeah. beef. Yeah, oh I didn't take that picture, you did. Yeah, no I have it, it's in, I, I have I've a got picture a, of yesterday. Yeah, it was so stinking good. Did there, everybody there, have- There's yesterday's dinner. Do you, oh, that was so good. That's mustard on there, by the way. We have scaled back, though, on the cabbage. <laughs> has nothing to do with vegetables. It has everything to do with gas. Yeah. Yeah. So. We used to lose friends about this time of every single year. Let's let's see. hello to everybody real quick. So Karen is here. Hey, Steph Karen. is here. Hey, Emily Steph. is here. Sean is here. Hey, Diane Emily. is here. Jerry is here. Hey, Jerry. Line Girl is here. Sean is here. Caboodle is here. Caboodle. Uh, Claire is here. Hey, Claire. Uh, Gail is here. Mini North hey. Carolina fan is here. Christopher is here. Hi there. Uh, Steph is here. How did the birthday party go for Sawyer? Uh, why is Steph getting anyone that is watching my channel no videos until Monday? Yeah, oh, we can show that. Yes, absolutely. We can show that. It's, 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 so Marie is here. Pam hey, is Marie. here. Sabrina is here. Uh, Nan is here. Lori is here. Carmen is here. Um, let's see, hey, Robin, Carmen. I think we said Jerry, Deb, K-Bear, but Fuzzy Ears is here. Oh my gosh, that's the greatest name. Okay. Christopher said, a few months ago I had a Reuben omelet and it was amazing. I've never had corned beef for this holiday. I didn't yesterday either, uh -oh. but I had one pound today with sauerkraut. Yeah, we had Ooh, yeah. five egg omelet with like probably a half a pound of corned beef in it today. That was lunch. Yeah. It's delicious. You may have to repeat for dinner. The only thing is, is like this year, corned beef was so expensive. Somebody posted about it on Facebook Family yeah, Group. Yeah, it went like up. Like four dollars a pound for corned beef. Like corned beef used to be cheap. Like you used to get it for like a dollar ninety nine a pound. I mean, they had the points at Aldi for a dollar ninety nine, but the point isn't as good as the brisket, and you don't get much because there's more fat in the point. I like to get to the point. <laughs> so when it there's cooks more fat down. In it it like you don't get as much of it so i always buy the flat and i'm used to paying like two dollars two dollars fifty cents a pound for it like four dollars a pound i can get brisket for three dollars a pound at sam's club and have the entire brisket do you remember when milk was a nickel are you having no. an old man no moment? but i remember milk being delivered to our house by a milkman in glass mm, bottles how cute is that I was explaining to somebody today what an ice box was. They were like, a refrigerator used to be an ice box? And it was like, yeah. I mean, you didn't even study that in school? <laughs> I felt very old. Uh, oh, by the way, we do have to pick the winner for the Keto Crate keto giveaway. Crate. So if you haven't done that, head Wait. over to last week's live stream. Yes. And uh, leave a comment, and we will pick that in a little while. There's no Keto Crate per se video alone because we had a video snafu. Yeah. Line Girl said, finally got Magic Spoon cereal and I tried the fruity flavor, Dangerous. They are too good. Too we'll good. only use them as a special treat since they're super expensive. Yeah, $10 a box. You know, sometimes when a thing is cost prohibitive, you make it precious, yes. right? Whereas like before, when you'd eat regular cereal and like dump an entire bowl of like 
fruity puffs yeah. into your into your bowl and just eat the whole thing. Now it's like, oh, I got to think. I think we're going to get a serving. We're going to get an actual serving out of this. Matreya, hey, Matreya says we're planning on smoking our brisket on Saturday. See, I don't like smoked corned beef. Really? I, I like do. smoked brisket. When have I, I've never made a yeah, smoked we, corned beef. I've had it. I've had it maybe at restaurants. Yeah. Usually I don't ever smoke it because you don't get all of those like the salt juices? and pick, I don't know. pickling I like flavors. I, I, sure salt, I smoke brisket, but not corned beef. Corned beef is like the pickled version. Huh. I would love to do one, but we're going to the Keys on Sunday. Well, you could bring it with us. Yeah, no. It takes way too long. The only to thing is, so keep a lookout though in the grocery stores because they're going to start whacking the prices mm -hmm. on this expensive corned beef you speak of. I know. This weekend Denise probably. Said, hey, hey, can you use hey. the savory keto chow as seasoning only or do you need to add liquid like to the sweet as much liquid? Um, you can use it as seasoning. So here's what I do. I take the um, either the spicy taco or I use the tomato basil oh, and we chow. mix it in with ground beef. Yeah. Right, and we just mix it with ground beef, and what happens? It actually becomes like a gravy because it sucks any of the moisture out of the meat. Yes, and it becomes like a gravy. So I may put like a quarter of uh, a cup of water in there, but I do a whole scoop to like two pounds of ground beef. Yeah, and it makes it like very gravy. -ish. I really like the gravy, and we don't have to add anything else. There's no like thickeners or anything else that you have to add to it. It just makes a nice thick gravy, and then serve the whole kit and caboodle on top of cauliflower rice and that way you don't lose any of it speaking of cauliflower rice i just saw carmen said i finally tried cauliflower again yesterday my insides did not respond well uh -oh. i wonder if i'm sensitive to cruciferous vegetables could be um what it probably is if you haven't had them for a long time you've got to like rebuild your gut biome which is i mean it's a good thing to do that and yeah. go through that cycle once in a while you want because you do want to have that but you want to introduce it slowly that's one of the great things about things like sauerkraut and yogurt and different types of fermented foods and stuff i totally recommend because we had a video we did on on making sauerkraut i know mm -hmm. it sounds weird that is a great date night activity yes. it is so fun it is very easy to make sauerkraut and you feel like a canning rock star. If you're somebody like me and we didn't grow up canning because I lived in South Florida and we didn't need to get through the winter. Right. So um, we didn't do a lot of canning, but I really wanted to. I wanted that experience and it was super fun. I really enjoyed I I'm it. I'm having a hard time looking at you with this like outfit on. I really am. I'm ready for all the bunny stuff. Aren't you? Are you ready for, for stuff bunnies? <laughs> you're a couple weeks early. It's okay. Okay. I'm in it. Um, Speaking of bunnies. Wait a second, Geek, because I, before he jumps. Uh -oh. uh, Geek Me Scott wants to know if we find it hard to stay keto when we go camping in the RV. Actually, I find it easier. Yeah, because you you know we bring our Blackstone. We have a smaller yeah, version of it. Yeah, we have a 22 inch Blackstone that we and keep meat. in the RV. And meat. So pretty much if you take out s'mores, everything about camping yeah. is keto, right? Yeah. Hot dogs, hamburgers, steaks, on whatever steak, you can cook on the grill. Bacon. I mean, some people talk about pancakes. Like pancakes to me isn't a pan isn't a camping food. I mean, I know some people do it, but that's not a camping food. I grew up with hot dogs on a stick, mm -hmm. hamburgers, like, you know, maybe eggs inside of a cast iron pan, but we can I make, find it very, very easy. We usually bring um, the, uh, the keto bar um, hot chocolate. Yep. So you've got like hot chocolate around the campfire, like you you know would normally do. Max Mallows makes marshmallows. If you mm -hmm. do want that, you know that does not make it. Do, more don't time. don't don't heat it. It don't. But right. if you want to have a marshmallow like in your cocoa, that's nice. Um, the other thing that I really like is we make chili over the pot. Like get the mm -hmm. little a frame thing, and you've made the. Yeah. The, the chili, that's nice. But, but it, for the most part, it's a big meat he uh, heavy thing. So Paul, thank you very much for the Thanks, $5 super sticker with the avocado. Look at that cute little mic Dropping drop. the mic. So, okay, back to what you wanted to say. So speaking of bunnies, it is that time again for us to have the Two Crazy Ketos Family Easter Egg Decorating Contest. So I'm super excited about this. I will post a, a post in the family group tomorrow morning that says basically in effect, this is the post that we want you to put pictures up of. So as you decorate eggs, you know, share pictures of the eggs. I'll tag it up so that I can pin it to the top so that yes. it stays up at the top. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have Facebook and you want to enter the contest, go ahead and send pictures to me through email 
Rachel at twocrazykitos.com. Yes. Totally got my email correct. Good job, Rachel. Um, and send us pictures. We're going to have three different winners. We're going to make a homemade award for you. We're not going to tell you what it is, but we're right. going to make a homemade award for you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have three awards. One is going to be funniest because I think people like to make funny ones. Right. One is going to be for most elegant mm -hmm. because sometimes I don't want, you know, if, if people are very artistic and like can do really pretty intricate things, like I want them to have a breakout award. And then the third one is best overall. That's good. So join us in making some, I mean, make it with your grandkids. You don't have to be an artist, just right. try. Yeah. Uh, Christopher said corned beef stink up the house. I put it in a slow cooker all night long. He said he got uh, it really cheap in January. Oh, oh wow. Um, okay, I just saw one I wanted to. Oh. Mary Lou, we're glad you're here. So I saw Gail saying, asking Claire, is it her birthday? Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday, Claire? Is it your birthday? We need to find out. My birthday was Wednesday. Well, you need to sing happy birthday. Oh, we got to sing happy birthday yes. to okay. Miss Clary. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Miss Claire. Happy birthday to you and many more. Have you ever been sang to by an Easter bunny? Uh, Christopher said, if you're going to smoke a corned beef, you probably want to turn it into pastrami. Yeah. Oh, the big he difference loves pastrami. pastrami. And I like corned beef better. But the big difference is, is pastrami is hev heavily peppered. Wow, you seem super serious about that. I love corned beef. Like, don't mess with my corned beef. Sheesh. I just don't mess with my corned beef. Gosh. Um. Thank you very much for the five dollar super chat. Steph said, "Happy birthday, birthday to Claire." Yeah, to Claire. Okay. Um. Matreya said, "I've been thinking about a small black stone for camping. I camp alone a bit. Oh. Sometimes just the two of us getting older. The old fashioned cast down is heavy. It is. Um. I, so if you ha depending on how much space you have, I like the twenty two inch. The seventeen is really good. The difference is the seventeen inch one only has one burner." And whereas the 22 inch has two burners. So I prefer, there's not a huge weight difference or even a huge size difference. It's like five more inches, literally. Also, I think the 22 inch one, I like the grease draining system better. It's um, kind of like the, the big Blackstone where it pushes out through the back. The 17 inch one has this little cup in the front and I never find it worked right. Like, yeah. This cup slides in. And then we it doesn't it sit in there right. And then the grease drops around it. And then when you go to put it away, it's just a mess. So I highly recommend the 22 inch one over the 17 inch one if you're gonna get one for camping. Is there a huge price difference? No, they're about the same price. You can get the 22 okay. inch one for 99 bucks. I know that we always did say to, to get just like the regular size propane, if you're using propane. Yeah, you can get you an can adapter for it. Yeah, because you can blow through those little ones. like And they're expensive yeah. and, it's, and it's bad on the environment. Well, that's great. Yeah. Bad on the environment, expensive, yeah. and like. No, you can get an attachment for like $35 that actually allows you to hook up your regular Blackstone, the small ones, to a big 30 pound propane can or 20 yeah. pound propane can. That's great. Christopher said, yes, wings over a campfire are great. Yes, that's another thing I like. Yep. Uh, Sabrina said popcorn over the fire isn't either. No, but what we do instead of microwave popcorn, we do microwave pork rinds. Yeah, yep. we do. Yeah. Cause they and they sell those at Walmart and they're like a dollar a bag. Yeah. Uh, Oval said I had cheeseburgers yesterday because we had our Bible study last night. It needed to be fast. Yes. Yeah, so the one Yum. thing about corned beef, it does take a it long does. time to cook. We had to have a lunch of like leftover chicken wings from Tuesday because I was like, I can't wait until we eat the corned beef. Mm -hmm. I would like to eat something right now. Geek B. Scott said Chipotle has cauliflower rice. I keep forgetting that I need to go there. I'm also really, ever since we went to Universal, I'm jonesing. I think we're going to get that tomorrow. I'm really in the mood for Moe's. And there's one actually close. Yes, we were blown away. If you have a Moe's near you, a lot of times people talk about doing um, like Chipotle, like going to Chipotle for, for keto options. But Moe's is also a great place if that's near you. Mm -hmm. We got uh, Moe's and you can turn stuff into a salad and they, they were really accommodating. So Shauna said, can I make a paper egg? I cannot boil eggs, ew. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, they even sell ones at uh, Walmart I saw, cause I was thinking about doing that with like uh, some of the kids at church where it's just like, it's it's not porcelain, it must be like wooden. And they painted it white mm -hmm. and, and it's basically for crafting. Okay, and so, Matreya said actual eggs, paper renditions, or 3D art versions. Any, anything Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Anything you want. 
uh, t- Tania said, Tanya? OMG, Tanya. Is that Tanya? Yeah. That, well, I'm looking, I'm used to Tanya like, with a Y. That's why. You're so cute. It's like Bob. How do you say that? OMG, day four of egg fast, and I'm in ketosis finally. Yay. Glucose 84, k- ketones 1.4. Yes. Awesome. Are you feeling like you could run home? Like I, when your ketones are up, a lot of times you can feel like, yep. woohoo, let's do this. Lisa said, does it have to be an actual egg or can we be creative? No, yes. be the creative. The whole idea is be creative. Knit one if you can knit. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, so we're going to let that jump a little bit. He said this will probably get skipped. Well, I'll make sure it doesn't. What, but make what? sure to be tuned for the Friday Night Fest. We will be hosting a special guest duo. How That's nice. That's very cool. Okay. So, um, not, so next Wednesday. So next week you get two live streams. We're going to live stream next Wednesday at 6 p.m. And after that, for the entire month of April... We will be live streaming at 6 p.m. Did you know this? I did not. So I'm just kind of like, wait, what? Yeah, so 6 p.m. every Wednesday. I'm there. I'll be there. My assigner is going to kill me that I'm going to block out Wednesday and Thursday. That's all right. We're sorry. Uh, So every Wednesday, starting next week, we're going to be live streaming with Bronson, who's been active in our group. And on April 1st, which we are actually going to launch it on March 31st, but Bronson's going to talk about it next week, is going to be... The No Joke Challenge. No Joke Challenge. April 1st through April 30th. It is free for everyone. That is, that fits everybody's wallet. And here's the cool part. There is going to be all kinds of like free apps and workout videos and stuff that you can use. And then every week, Bronson is going to come on live uh, to answer your questions. And the focus of this is not to lose fat. The focus on the next 30 days is going to be to increase lean muscle. And I know you're thinking, wait a second, I want to lose fat. But Bronson's going to talk about it next week. But if you increase lean muscle, you will burn more fat. Yeah. So let's say you burn a pound of fat a, a, you know, a week now. If you increase your lean muscle, you could get that up to two pounds because muscle burns fat. So we're going to focus for 30 days on increasing our lean muscle mass, which increases our metabolism, which allows us to eat more, which allows us to get into a better fat burning um, state. And it also works on improving your overall like, you know, fat ratio in your body. And I want you to look at the bunny's face. Yep. Okay. This, I'm I'm very serious, clearly, from my face, mm-hmm. the bunny's face. Do not hear personal trainer and immediately say, that is not talking to me. That is not applying to me. I'm not somebody that works out. I'm not somebody that's interested in fitness. I'm not going to be able to do this. Like, oh, are you showing the No, I was trying to delete again? that. Oh, okay. Go ahead. You keep going. Because they can't see the bunny's face. They see corned I beef. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, Lori, do you hear me? You actually hear me. I hear you. Yay. Yes. Oh my gracious. Lord, this live stream is like the keto journey. You got to want it to make it happen, right? We don't even know what is going on, but I have to assume that like, because there's just nothing. Every cord is in place. It's just not working. We have full internet, full bars. It's just not working. It is so crazy. Just so crazy. Somebody out there needs to hear this. I love you. You are precious. You are awesome. God has big plans for your life. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. Maybe that was the thing that that wasn't supposed to get told tonight, but it's getting told. You're awesome. (laughs) It was so crazy. So glad that it's working. I'm sorry that it's on this camera. Joe is trying to find something in Eleanor that may help um, make the camera work. We're doing the best that we can, but we're here. We're not giving up, right? not giving up. Claire says consistency is key. You're absolutely right. Let me see if I can get back and oh Lord, please don't touch anything, Joe. (laughs) Okay. So Christy says, I'm glad that it's working. Patty says, I can't get off the commercial. Did we lose them again? Um, I should still be here. Bill says, you guys are too funny working now. Consistency is keep, just keep swimming. Yes. And it, this was not the fault of Claire having a birthday. All right. Oh, 
Am I seeing this camera now? You are. But you I, did I just got to adjust the light. Make sure you can hear us, though. We didn't lose. We didn't get camera and lose sound, right? Let's see. You look good in the camera. I just got to adjust the <gasps> And we turned the lights on. I love it. You're here. Thank you. <laughs> You're here. Thank you. Thanks for being here, guys. Wow. Praise the Lord. 93 people live through that debacle and y'all are still here. That's pretty awesome. Good job. Awesome. You keep going. All right. I'm just getting the other I'm sound trying back. to get to Fortunately, see. Fortunately, we just grabbed the converter out of the camper. Yeah. I'm trying to get the, the thing is the thing is a hopping. Renee says, new patient today with so many ailments, obsessed with frogs. I asked her and she explained because she often gets down. So they remind her to fully rely on God. Oh my gosh. I love that upbeat attitude too. That is like now you should have better audience. Yeah. We've done some a uh, crafts with that where it's like a little froggy and like fully rely on God, which, yeah, I mean, that's the only way that you can keep going. Yeah, <laughs> like it really is because you get so discouraged. But I think that we just know that that people we just need community and we are willing to fight for it. <laughs> he said, don't tell Joe, tell Joe not to hit his head again. Yeah. I, I bet like you probably scared the ladies going to bed tonight because you, being back there in their space at that time, they were well, probably they're like, in there is that they're, a coyote? Tube, so sorry about that. Um, we're going to, I'm going to have to edit everything. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. We try and to do the best back. we can. Goodness. So are the boys playing video games? Oh, Danita. Danita, thank you very much for the $5 super chat or four ninety nine says shabby dog says good job while raising his thumb up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I don't like this. Shauna, thank you Shauna, very much for the bless twenty dollars super chat. Said technical difficulties. Ninety seven still watching. We love you, Rachel. Joe. We we'll love stay you. on longer tonight. That's yeah, all. we're just gonna stay on longer. We'll just keep talking because I have to show this. <laughs> okay, and is Chris here? Like Chris is gone, right? Chris and Chris and Miriam abandoned us. Right? No, <laughs> no, they did not. Two KK version of twenty twenty one freeze Fr freeze again. Yeah, and of course I've got like a dumb look on my face and bunny ears on. Of course, that's exactly when it would happen when you're like, yeah, of course. So this is kind of exciting. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. This is not the April box. It is not. This is not the March box. No. I got the May box. Yeah. I got the May box. Now, and we, I so badly want to open this right now and show you what's in here. Because this is the most exciting and thing I'm not allowed to. ever. And we are not going to break a trust. I'm not we, even allowed to tell like Rachel's mom what's in here. No, we can't talk I'm about gonna it. I'm going to say this, though. If you don't currently have the Chow Club box. And I would never say this. Get one month. <laughs> I would get this month. <laughs> That's why I got to make sure Chris and Miriam are in here. Because like they're going to kill me when I say this. You want this box. You want box. this box. <laughs> the, you know how every month, first of all, you don't know what this is. So every month, Keto Chow has a club box, right? Yes. And you can get a 30 meal or a 60 meal um, subscription. And it's random. They're going to pick all of the flavors. You get one big bag and then nine individual flavors. Yeah. And every month you get a surprise. It could be a new flavor. It could be a piece of swag. The surprise that's in this box is going to for May. Yeah, it's May. If May. you don't get it, you're gonna just like want to shoot yourself. No, not don't talk like that. Okay. Kick yourself. You're gonna want to kick, kick yourself, yourself. because it's like it's that. like it's like sick. It the is surprise so that's in here. stinking awesome. But you have to subscribe to it by yeah. April fifteenth at midnight Eastern time. Do Otherwise, you're gonna lose out, and then you're you're really you're gonna really want to kick be yourself. Upset. Like it's. I'm telling you, even if you don't want a monthly box, yeah. get it for one for month, month and then cancel it. <laughs> and cancel it. Because you're not going to want to miss you don't the surprise miss what's in that's there. in this box. Yeah. I really want to show it. I, no, <laughs> you won't get to have secrets anymore if you do. Christy, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. So thank you for not giving up. What, thank you for not giving up on us. Oh, my gracious. Get over there. Are you able to get out of there? 
Are you able to do the giveaway for Keto Crate? Um, you want to try it? <sighs> want to try it on on a phone? And then like, and we'll show that we're like being super honest about like who's winning it. Um, I can pull it up. Let's try it. We're going to try. What? Joe, are you doing the third print? The what? I, I can't read. You comments. want me to do pick a winner, right? Okay. He's going to, because we want to give that away. Let me see. Can I pull up the chat on this? No, I'm going to get this. You okay. just talk. Okay. And I will, I've got to go find the video. All right. Well, I can't see past your screen, son. You love to talk. Just talk. What am I going to talk about? Comments. I can't. I it scares me. I get scared. <laughs> now all I see is like just my eyes. Okay. Let me find last week's live stream because now there's a nonsense live stream. What do here. you think? Okay. Here's a question that I legitimately have. What do you think is the best like bunny type? Do you, if you're making an Easter egg basket, and you're getting a bunny, like a stuffed bunny, do you think it should be the long floppy ears or should it be the ears that are perked up? What is the better bunny for that? That's what I want to know. Okay. I'm about to switch seats with you and like sit over there so I can see the chat. Okay. Well, I've got it. Okay. Do you want to do pick a winner? Is this happening today? Yes. Let's pick a winner for the okay. keto crate, which was another can snafu. Can share the screen? Can you? Don't mess with anything just okay. leave it i promise we're not lying who wins just leave it no okay. no okay don't touch anything don't touch anything yes okay all right here we go pick a winner <gasps> let's see how many people are in this <laughs> i'm afraid to touch anything 125, 125. comments Madeline, Madeline Carroll said, would love to win the keto crate and finally pull the trigger on my own keto chow club box. So excited. Awesome. Well, good. You win the keto crate and, and you're going to get that May box because you definitely want the May box. Yes. Make sure you post this I in will. Facebook yeah, family group. You save the picture. Okay. Madeline Carroll, congratulations. Okay. Now you can go back to the <sighs> chat. My armpits are so sweaty right now. Like ridiculously <laughs> sweaty. Uh, Joe, are you going to th 3D print an egg for the contest trophy? That's a good idea. That's we, a really good idea. I think that we've we've kind of been thinking that maybe we could 3D print something. I, I took the whole thing apart. Anthony walked out. He's like, what are you doing? Like all the fans were cut. The wires on the cooler were cut. Um, I had everything disassembled because I have to make it better. Like it wasn't good enough for me. It needed to be made better. <laughs> Shauna goes, your look was cute. It's on the family page. <laughs> uh, Blaine, Blaine says, you have the May box. Yes, we have the May box. Christopher said, Chris and Miriam aren't here. They, they won't, won't know that you showed, showed us. us. They, we will. They would. Like, this, this is kind of like, get you. This is kind of like your children, right? Like where they do something wrong. And then you just tell them as you're, I mean, Christopher, you have kids, right? You'll never know. We know. I like, know. We know. They got eyes in the back right? of their head. Like you, I mean, I can't tell you how many times, like, the kids were growing up and they would come home and be how like, did you we know? need to talk. And we were like, how did you know? We just know. Like, God told us. Jesus told me. <laughs> <laughs> Usually we don't know, but, like. You just have to. Just, you just have to say, we know what we you did. We know it. And they spill their guts. Yeah. <laughs> Usually what happens, though, is one of the other kids is told on them. Right? So that's another reason why somebody may tell him Blaine back. He said he's so jealous. Yeah, I'm I'm not, I'm not, believe me, I'm not trying to blow it up. No. There's a link down below. The link below will actually get you 10% off the first box. So you can use the link, get the May box, get 10% off of the box, and then cancel it. We're the king and queen of like, you don't need this, don't bother getting <laughs> this. You know, like we're or or we'll we'll say, like, get it if you want. This is the one that we're gonna be like. You probably want this. It's, it's going to be like you know, what what was it like? Uh, somebody says if you don't buy the Italian the the leather jacket when you're in Italy, like the, it passes, and, yeah. you, and you look back and you're like, well, I'm not going back there. Like and I don't also don't forget, like if you're interested in getting a free bag of one of the savory flavors, they're having their little contest thing where you put up recipes and stuff. You can get yes. keep on for a free. Oh my gosh! So because Give it not, a whirl. Chris said they're not going to be back in stock until like the fall. Yeah. So for the big bags. Anytime they do like a contest like that, enter. Yeah. What do you got to lose? Yep. 
I meant, I'm so glad he said this because I forgot, I was going to bring it up and then we had the snafu with like the computer and everything. Wow. So he bought new show. He's talked about it on Autumn's live stream today. Went wow. from an 8X down to a 3X, weighed this morning at 304 pounds. I am so, so proud, proud of, of you. you. And I'm also really proud that like you're taking that step to buy like the smaller shirts because I've thought that when I would look at their live streams, I'm like, Heath is in a way smaller shirt. Like right. he needs to go ahead and, and like oh, get that smaller shirt. I can't tell you how many shirt. times on Friday we're watching it. And Rachel's we're like, like, when is he going to buy a new shirt? Yeah, he needs the new shirts because like he, you, I just knew that like there was a lot like had changed. Yeah. Like you look incredible, Heath. I'm so excited about it. I'm so proud of you too. Uh, Linda said, she still says Icebox. Thank you, Linda. Another person that's not like I, I, my grandparents always said icebox and we would, we would say that, mm -hmm. but like, oh my goodness, talking to those two ladies in their like twenties today that were like, we have, to make, we have to make up this live stream. Okay. How are we going to do that? How are we, we going to fix this? this? You're going to kill me. Probably. Um, <laughs> well, we're, we're well, we 6 are 6 PM Saturday night. Okay. Zoom for all Patreons. Okay. All right. Deal. Deal. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. All Patreons. Zoom. I'll, I'll create zoom, the zoom. link tonight. We'll put it up in the Patreon account tomorrow, along with Rachel's Fearless Friday. Yeah. We're going to do a Patreon. I, we're going to do a Zoom meeting. Yeah. For all our Patreons. Because we bought the Zooms. Yeah, we bought the Zoom we account. Paid for so the we Zooms. can have up to 100 people live on a Zoom. So let's do it. Let's do a Zoom meeting for all Patreons let's do on it. Saturday. Oh my gosh. I seriously, and I, here's the thing. Somebody, well, here's the thing. At least if there's a problem with Zoom, you can jump on your phone or something. Somebody at work had a, a, a spray on Bath and Body Works, one of their like perfumes. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and they were like, this is not the flavor for me. And I smelled up close to the little, where the spray nozzle is. And I was like, this doesn't spray bad, like doesn't smell bad. Right. And so everybody at work was like, get out of there. They're asking what's get, in Get it. out of there. Get out of there for real. I'm. There's, I will wait until you're done. There's Thank some you. cool individual packets in there. Okay, you're done. You're going to see him get grounded like right here. Um, but anyway, so I sprayed, I smelled the nozzle and I was like, that smells pretty good. And they're like, well, they're trying to get rid of it. Right. And so I was like, well, I'll take it. Like, that's nice. So I sprayed it on for the first time tonight. And it's a little bit like overbearing old lady perfume smell and combined mm, with. I don't like that smell. How, it's like walking through Macy's. How much I'm sweating right now is like, it's really exacerbating it. So I'm very sorry that I've like turned <laughs> this into like a Dillard's spray counter. Look at this. Christopher, <laughs> I dropped the keto gel box onto the table and stuff fell out on camera. Um, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Nice. They really want us to open it. Yeah. Joe, don't be naughty. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Songbird. Goodness me. Danita says, I was so happy with the March box because I got a big bag of salted caramel, which is my favorite, and some small packages of s'mores, which was sold out. Yes. That was really nice, too. I yeah. love the fact that sometimes in those boxes, you either get a sneak preview of a new flavor or you get some of the you know, the flavors that they might be dis, you know, discontinuing soon or like closing out soon, you right. know, for the year. Patty Epps said, talk about April, please. Honestly, I don't know April. We don't know April. We he only gave me know May. May. He gave me a May box. He's like, we I don't want know it. April. He's, Chris was kind of- That's how cool that May is. Chris, Chris was kind of like, Joe, you're my friend and I need to share this with you because I got to share it with somebody. And like, I'm Miriam, but we so don't I can know. only share it with you. I can't share it with anybody else. So yeah, he was kind of mentioning it on his live stream yesterday on Tuesday. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, Miriam just comes up with these like wild things. Like last year, last year, Miriam calls us up and goes like, Hey, I have a wild idea, right? For Chris's birthday, I'm going to send gonna come him to, to Florida. Florida. <laughs> this is even cooler than that. <laughs> <laughs> like, this the funny part about them coming to Florida last year is Chris didn't know he was coming to Florida. No. Right. No. So, but I don't know what's in April box. He hasn't given I don't me, know he what's in April. April. I box. only know what's in May. Uh, medium roasted with turnips. Okay. So they're talking about different um, bunny things. Cause I'd yes. ask chubby Flop bunny, it, floppy, long floppy ears, long floppies, floppy ears, peaked up ears, 
Long floppy, floppy all the way, lop eared. Oh, awesome. Squishy bunnies with long floppy ears. Yeah, you have to get the exact right amount of stuffing. If you overstuff, I don't, it's not cuddly. If you understuff, it's almost, it's too floppy and like useless. Like sometimes they will stuff the head really hard and then they'll stuff the feet and then like there's not enough in the middle right. to be cuddly. So like getting that perfect stuffed animal, I, I mean, it's, it's really an art form, yeah. honestly. I have to say this because I don't see her on here, but we're excited that, Shelly. that Katie is coming down to the Keys, yes. right? In May, right? For their May. anniversary. And they're going back to where they had their honeymoon. That is so awesome. And we're going to be <laughs> So we're, we're, invading, that party. we're invading their, their anniversary Hi, trip. guys. What are you doing? We were able to book a campsite for three days of the week. I could have gotten a whole week, but I decided to be good because we have work. Yeah. And then, um, like, that's like the week after we're getting back from New York. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, we're going to be in the Keys for three days in May. So, so if anybody's in the area, maybe yeah. we'll do like a meetup while we're there. Since we're I, going down there to meet them anyway. Yeah, I'm getting really excited, though, about our trip to New York. Do because, you want to know the dates? Yeah. Okay, here is the tentative dates on the – oh, look at our calendar. <laughs> uh, here is the tentative dates, the tentative dates right. for us going to New York, which I have not discussed with you at all. I, I I love this. Do you don't you love how I just roll with stuff? You're awesome. So the plan is to probably leave on either Thursday, um, April twenty second, okay, which is Earth Day, Earth Day, or Friday, April twenty third, okay, which would put us in the South Carolina area the next day. So either the twenty third or the twenty fourth. I'm kind of leaning towards leaving on Friday, okay, which would allow me to get a bunch of work done on the twenty second yeah, and do our live good. stream. We leave on the twenty second means we have to do our live stream from the road. Which, right? Who knows? Based on our internet, probably would be better. Maybe than be this. better. So I'm thinking we're going to leave early in the morning on Friday the twenty third, which would put us in South Carolina for a meetup sometime on Saturday or like probably Friday night. We would probably do it like Friday evening somewhere in South Carolina. Right. And then another one probably in Pennsylvania. A lot of people are mentioning like um, intercourse kind of area. I, somebody <laughs> said that there's a, a town called Blue Balls right next to intercourse. That cannot be true. If, is that really is true? Is that true? Is that really true? That can't be true, right? Who is the city planner? <laughs> Who That's is that? It's kind of like Dicks and BJs, right? There's this, oh my gosh. So okay. much. I'm going to stop right there. And then we would probably do Pennsylvania on the 24th or the 25th. Yeah. So yeah. that is the tentative plan. South Carolina probably on, I'm, I'm going to say South Carolina probably on the 24th. Yep. And then we may make another couple stops on the way home. So, so let right? us know. Because that will put us in New York on Sunday the 25th. So let us know if you are in the South Carolina or Pennsylvania area and would like to meet up so that we on can our like, drive up. Like, yeah. Just like, you know, we'll. We'll get in in the evening. We'll find a place to park the camper, and then we can kind of just all let's meet have, somewhere for yeah. some coffee or something to let's, eat or something like go, that. Let's go break bacon together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then that would bring us – the plan would be to get back home here like May 1st, May 2nd. That yeah. would be about nine days. So three days up, three days in New York, three days back. And we want to see you. Yeah. So, so if you're available, so let us know. So that is the tentative plan. Before it gets too hot and landscaping gets really busy and everything else. Yeah. So they're talking more about, uh, oh, congratulations to Madeline. I love how you guys are so supportive of one another mm -hmm. when, when someone wins something. I like the perky ears like yours, Rachel. Good. Yep. Lop eared. Lop it ears. Works, don't fix it. Chocolate so bunny. Funny. Was that a choice? Well, I did see that Chalk Zero came out. Yes. With which a, a lot chocolate, of them sold out already. With a chocolate bunny. So if you're, if you're wanting one, that's a good alternative. Yeah. Because I get wow, it. Wow, we are so far behind. Joe the Tool Man. You will never get the peanut butter and jelly at Keto Trout. I will say that. It's not that. You never know. Yeah, no, it's not it's peanut not butter that. and jelly. I will, I will say that. It's not. Like, I, I've got some more fighting to do with. I may have to fly out to Utah to work on that one. Lori says parents always know. They do. You always know. You always know. Mostly you know because you've done something crazy as a kid and right. you can just recognize that behavior. Right. Vincent says, you look so young to have kids. I didn't know that. Yeah. All actually our youngest. So our youngest will be 20 March 30th. Yep. Oh my gosh. I just, I just realized the date. Like, wow. Wow. March 30th. <laughs> and my sister turns what? 49. 
in on the 27th. Wow. Pretty awesome. I, I didn't even realize today. Like time is flying. Time is flying. It was interesting because there's a little boy at church named Caleb and he turned from 12 to 13 on March 1st. Mm -hmm. And Caleb is leaving the teens at the end of the month. That's kind of and, cool. and it was cool because it was like when Caleb is passing the torch to the other Caleb, like I got the teen years. Yeah. You go ahead and head into the 20s. Yeah. So our youngest is 20 and our oldest is 24 and married. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting up there. I'll be with you, somebody Grandpa actually, Joe. Well, you know, it's funny. Somebody. We do have a grand puppy. Somebody <laughs> actually on our other channel, Two Crazy Campers, if you're into camping and RVing, we'd have another channel. It's called Two Crazy Campers with a K. Right, of And course. Um, it's actually growing very quickly. We almost have 10,000 subscribers over Praise there. Praise the Lord. And um, we've got some vlogs coming out, campground reviews, some funny things. we got a couple of keys things coming up. And uh, somebody over there said, wow, look, father and daughter. <laughs> oh, oh, I love you. That's not true. Well, you do. You, you are young enough to look like my daughter. We're, isn't that a you nice thing to enough. say? Thank so, you. So, but anyway, they did say, I said, nope, husband and wife. And they're like, well, how far apart are you? I'm are like, you? we're six years apart. And they're like, you guys look amazing for your age. You how do you do it? And I said, Kino. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to get out of the doghouse from earlier when you were like misbehaving with the keto chow club box? Is that what you're, what's happening? It's still right here. That you're complimenting me no. to get out of in trouble? No. What does your significant other or partner do to get out of the doghouse? What is the quickest way back inside out of the doghouse? I got one for you though. Okay. Oh wait, I meant to tell you. I forgot to even tell you this when I came home yeah. the other day. So I went to a game the other night. And it was, they were horrible. I mean, horrible. Okay. And uh, as a matter of fact, we like, it's, it's lacrosse is something like basketball where you can foul out. If you get too many fouls, you foul I'm only out here. of the game. This is the Chris equivalent of like nerd, nerd, nerd. Well, me, yeah. I, the sports thing. Well, here's sports, the thing. sports, sports. We maybe have two kids foul out in the entire season. We fouled out six kids in one game. Uh, okay. Okay. That's how bad these kids were. They were horrible. But it was senior night that night. They weren't bad players. They were inappropriately behaving. Would that be it? Well, kind of both. They were really bad losing 24 to nothing and decided they were going to do like nonsense and slash and one kid like standing over him and hitting <gasps> kid with a stick. Yeah. It was My really bad. Goodness. So anyway, it was senior night for the team that was winning. Oh, well, that's nice. So if you've ever been to a high school sporting event, generally for senior night, the kids get flowers or roses that they're supposed to give to their parents. Right. Right. And so at the Did end of the that? night, there were flowers left over. So one of the women at the table, one of the people who were in charge of it, were like, hey, why don't you bring this home to my wife? And I said, no, you better give it to my partner, John, for his wife, because if I bring home flowers, I did it last week. And she'd be like, now what did you do? Because it was the first time in eight years I brought home flowers. And like, if I do it two weeks in a row, she's, she's going to be like, are you She's going to think like me? I'm having an affair yeah. or something. What you doing? So I what declined happened? the free flowers. Thank you for that. So that I didn't upset you by bringing you home flowers. Yeah. Is that, or is, that a, is that a good husband? It actually, like, right? It, it avoided an issue. Yeah. And also, I it becomes like a, a wife fail because once we're done, I felt so bad for, like, asking you, like, what'd you do? What'd you do? That, like, I took all of the joy out of that love note from you, basically. Yeah. So, like, I don't want to do that again. Renee says, so if we purchase now, it won't be for the April box. Correct. So you've already yeah. missed the cutoff for the April box. In order to get the next month's box, you have to get, you have to sign up by the 15th at midnight Eastern time. So if you go and subscribe for the Chow Club box right now, the first box you're going to get is the May box. You should indicate that, right? Should it say like it you're does... trying to buy the May box? No, well, because it's a subscription. Oh, okay. But it'll tell you your first box will be, I think. Uh, yeah. Then he said, "On pause instead of cancel, just in case change your mind." Yes. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I forgot you can do that. Yeah, I'm just teasing about the cancel. You wouldn't want to cancel, but the, if you're if if, <laughs> if you're, you're only like gonna me, buy a box, you know how many times I've done like a subscribe and save, and you get it for like two months, and you're like, you know what? Then a coupon comes along, and it makes a better deal right. to not do the subscription. Yeah, you know. So sometimes I'm I'm completely guilty of that. Yeah. You know? Uh, Diane said, well, I was debating getting a box, but now I guess I have to. I will just tell uh, Dane, Rachel and Joe made me get it. Rachel and Joe made me do it. I And you will you will rarely 
hear me ever say that because I, I am, I am the worst person to like encourage somebody to spend money. That's why like I, I was, I was terrible at party city. I was awful because I was like, you don't need that. You don't, you don't need that. Like I, there would be people that would be like bringing, you know, they'd be having a party at their house and buying so much stuff to like give to all of the people in attendance. Right. And I was like, well, you're not spending all this money. You don't need all this. Okay, we are so far behind in comments. We have to stop talking. Okay. Uh, Blaine said licorice camping fear factor for Joe. Oh, I, I don't feel think like there's a keto licorice. There is a fear factor coming out tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes, we have a fear factor tomorrow. But I but then Shauna said Shauna said we need to block Chris and Miriam and then we can show them. Ooh, <laughs> you guys could get in trouble. Like you you guys could be like, man. <laughs> Uh, I also, oh, don't forget if you're still in, if you need to get any products from Equip or from Perfect Keto, their sale for the buy two, get one free is going on. You have to use the link below. Yeah. If you don't use that link, you won't get buy two, get one free. You get, there's a discount, but it's not buy two, get one free. You have to use the link below. And for, I believe if I remember right, when you click on the link for Equip, up on the top of the page is the coupon code to get the buy two, get one free, but it will only show up. I think you have to enter it in, but it's the same as Perfect Keto. I anyway. have an idea of what- But it only works if you click through the link because it's not was available to everybody. The problem with the camera stuff, I know what it is. It's daylight savings time. Oh, daylight savings time. I was talking to our signer from it lacrosse. It screwed up everything. me out. Like, it's time to get rid of daylight savings time. Can I share something super embarrassing? I know we're catching up with the comments, but like, here's the thing. I was doing my walk in the morning, like, because I either bike. Yesterday, I biked 22 miles. I missed I'm like, a comment from Gail. I'm, I'm going to go look for it. I'm super, super proud of myself for doing that. Were you proud? Like, that's yes, a lot. I'm super proud of I you. biked all the way to work and home. Oh, but anyway, so I was doing like my walk on Sunday morning. And so it's the first morning that like, it's darker than normal. It was very dark and my eyes were not used to it yet. So I see this big fat fluffy kitty sitting in a driveway. So I'm like approaching it and I thought it looks so cute. It was just kind of like laying down and lounging out. You know how cats do in driveways. Right. And so as I got closer, I started doing that, like the universal call of the cat, which is like, here kitty kitty you know, like just talking to it. And it perked up and was like looking at me and like kind of stood up. And so I was like, that's so cute. So as I got closer to it, I realized it wasn't a cat. It was a giant raccoon. <laughs> it was a giant raccoon. And it's like walking towards me. And I'm like, oh my Lord, I couldn't see. Daylight savings time almost got me bitten by a raccoon. I hate it. Okay. So let's, 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 Blow through some of these comments because we're so far behind. Sorry. Jerry wants to know what is Patreon. Patreon is a way that you can support us on the channel with a couple of dollars each month. Uh, we have a $5, a $10, and a $25 level. Uh, they give you different things. We also, I'm trying to find right now, we, we have named our Patreons. They're called the Meatheads. The Meatheads. <laughs> and uh, not to be confused with Meathead from Archie Bunker. Right. And, um, I'm trying to find a fiver right now who can design, design. something and then we're going to have t-shirts made and any one of our, we're going to do a one Just time, thank you. every one of our 10 and $25 patrons will get a free t-shirt, but there's different pieces of swag. And then we do uh, rate right, every Friday, Rachel comes out with uh, something called Feelers Friday. It's like a motivational post. And also we do um, Zoom calls at well. least one month at one every month. We do a live stream only for Patreons. And now we're going to also be incorporating Zooms. We're also going to have sneak previews. We are in the process right now. It's going to take 60 days, but we've got a new blender bottle that we are trying to design right now. And it's cool because it's going to be three different colors and uh, they're going to be cheaper too. So because yeah. we got to buy them from, we're buying them, but it takes like 60 to 90 days to get them because they're coming from China. Right. So <laughs> everybody's excited to hear that. Well, I mean, cause that's where they're all made. So a lot of people are ex um, excited about the zoom call. Um, so yeah, it, the zoom will be at 6 PM Eastern time. Oh, <laughs> this is a humiliating video. Cast. This I is a humiliating cute. video cast. I thought this was a keto channel. There should be a link for the Patreon down below. If it's not, it's in every one of our videos. I do know that open the box, open the box. 
Shauna said, I do not want to know May's surprise yet. Shauna Don't worry. I am is, not going to tell you because Shauna's like, so sweet. I love Chris. You, and, she's a rules follower like Anthony. Anthony is like a rules follower. Amy said, Joe, is Chow Club 30 meals or a Chow Club 60 meals? They have two different ones. They have a 30 meal one and a 60 meal one. Um, Saturday, 8 p.m. Steph says, I'm finding a lot of pants with wrong sizes because I'm fitting in fours and sixes, so girl. Awesome. Way to Jerry go. Jerry said, don't open it on camera. Don't ruin a surprise. Anticipation is part of the fun. That is very Absolutely. true. Um, I won't be able to Zoom. I'm driving to South Carolina for vacation. How I will fun. Miss you all uh, that's awesome, though. Uh, Craig Gale said, I never leave Autumn's Live on Mondays. I wait to go to premiere after the stream is over. That's just how I am. No offense to anyone. How no. sweet. That's good. We encourage that, too. Yeah. I mean, we believe me, we love Autumn. We love Autumn. And Richard. Uh, Jenna said, how much is the keto chow? So uh, I don't remember the cost of the box. It's about $90, I want to say, some somewhere around there. Um, but generally, in keto chow in general, a bag of $70, which is 21 meals, sounds like a lot of money, but it breaks Break down, it down to a little over $3 a meal. A meal. If you use our link to purchase it down below, that link will get you 10% off of everything, and you can use it as many times as you want. And they also have sample packets if you want to just – Try, try a see flavor like and it. see if you like it. And I think that those are four seventy five. dollars I never buy those. Um, only because I, I know what I like, the big bag. So um, is it a new flavor or fun swag? I am not telling you. Boop. You're I'm welcome, Rachel. You. Is there a link to Keto Chow? It is down below in the description. Is it a ticket to Salt Lake Keto? Wouldn't that, that would be, be awesome? Really awesome. The gift would be just being able to have conventions again, right? Barbecued yes. smoked rabbit bunny is delicious. Heave. Shauna said the best bunny is an Easter basket. It's a live bunny. Right now, my my um my brother and sister-in-law uh, went on a, a vacation and Caleb is watching all five of their rabbits. And he's like, we don't have rabbits. No. So it's kind of like a unique experience. And he was like, I thought that somebody dropped like cocoa puffs on the floor. Those ain't cocoa puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not Coco Pops. <laughs> uh, what is that? A league, Ilga said, Ilga said or, Hi, I just Rachel love Joe. you all. Go ahead. Hi, Rachel and Joe. I just love you all. I found you after the show with Keto Connect. Love your energy. I've been on Keto Chow ever since. If you order one time, would I get a box every month? Um, you would. You can cancel it now. So yeah. you can order a box one month and then cancel it if you don't Steph like says, it. Steph says, oops, scroll up one. I have the cutest bunny Hillary gave me, came home one day, and one of the dogs chewed one of its eyes off. Yes, somebody knit me a bunny, and T-A-B-I-T-H-A -A got it. Can't say her name. I know. You can't say her name because she'll be right here. He said all these vacation plans, but I have not heard Houston mentioned yet. What's up with that? We are. The vacation plan for new going for going to South Carolina is because I need to go visit my mom who is 81 years old and moved recently. Yeah. And, you know, she moved and is in the middle of a house renovation that did not go well to start off with. Wow. And um, really heartbreaking. So we want to go up there and visit her, which she does not know. We're coming. She doesn't watch our live streams. My sister watches. And if my she sister knows. tells her, I'm going to kill my sister. Oh, you want it to be surprised? <laughs> yes. So, Terry, when you see this, do no. not tell mom the plans. Okay. Shauna uh, says, I have a Build-A-Bear tie-dye bunny a dear friend took me to make. She passed away. Now, every time I hug my bunny, I hug her. That is so precious. It was interesting. I was actually talking to our campus pastor this afternoon, and uh, we were talking about Build-A-Bear uh, stuffed animals, and his sister, who lives in another state, had gotten a, um, you can get like a voice thing put into those bunnies. Right. And, and then like, so she was like, hey, you know, good night, Marshall, talking to their kid. She got it for the their son. And so that he could squeeze it every night and be like, you know, Aunt Rachel loves you. Well, what happened was the battery started to die on that thing. He'd push it and it was like, like really scary. And they're like, oh my gosh, that was not the intention of your aunt to be like, good night, like never sleep again. <laughs> so maybe don't get the voice one. Oh, Gail said she's not going to keto palooza. The budget won't allow. She's on a Aww. tight budget and has that huge oral surgery to build the payoff. Oh, for, oh my that goodness. Sense. Well, we'll miss you. Uh, are you detouring to Missouri anytime I soon? I would love that. 
I'd love to, I'd love I've to just like travel constantly. Me too. That's, what, that's, that's the ultimate goal. Yeah. Tanya said, what, you're coming to New York City? I'd love to meet up. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do a New York meetup like on the way out. So we're yeah. going up to the Catskills, up to the Monticello area. So I grew up on Long Island, uh, but mom recently moved up to the Catskill area. Yeah. So that's where we're going. But maybe we can do some kind of meetup on the way back in New York. I, that would be fun. So. Y'all need to come to Indiana. My mom actually- I go to Indiana, we're buying a new RV. Seriously. My mom actually lived for a while in Evansville, Indiana. Loved it. Got to have snow. When I said I'm the only weirdo that doesn't own any stuffed animals. Neither no. do we, because if we do have them, Tabitha gets them. Tabitha gets them. And she always goes for the eyeballs first. Every single time. We can, like the test of a dog toy is whether or not she can get the eyeballs out. Like, I don't know if she's got like serial killer tendencies. I don't know why she always goes for it, their She's eyeballs. The dog. Uh, April said, I'm on the South Carolina, Georgia state line. I'd be down to me. Yay. Yeah. I'm trying to look um, to see where we can find a pretty inexpensive place to stay overnight. We were going to do like a, a boondocking kind of thing, but I know we'll want to like charge up like batteries. Patty and stuff like that. honeymooned in intercourse. Oh, that's cool. That I think that's just hilarious. Joe said, hey, I'm going to be in South Carolina on Friday night driving home from Tennessee. Wow. That's cool. Um, I have a lot of Chalk Zero chocolate bunnies. Oh, Christopher got some. Did you get some for the kids? Because I'm sure that that's fun for them, too. Tina Marie says, how much is the box? Yeah, I said I'm not sure. I thought this was a serious. Oh, too creepy for me. Okay, so I'm, I'm really sorry for this person who is... <laughs> It's like, obviously does not like our channel. So I'm very sorry. Yep. This is the only face that I have, but we love you and hope that you are having good success in your keto journey. And there's lots of other YouTubers out there that like, yeah, I mean, I, if you're new to our channel, our Thursday live, li our Thursday night live streams are kind of just like fun. You know, if you have a keto question, we will be happy to Absolutely. answer it. But this is, we, this channel is really about family. It's about motivation and support and inspiration. So we do have some keto videos and things like that. And we do what I eat in a day videos and, you know, we have our Monday thing, but we're really about subscribers and creating a family atmosphere and a support atmosphere because we did this alone and we don't want anybody else to do it alone. So, so we want to have a big family atmosphere where people can kind of turn to. So let us know if we can be an encouragement to you in any way. Yep. Shauna said, I have a select few stuffies, my tie-dye bunny, two crochet, a dragonfly, a sloth, a grogu, grogu and a super squishy, squishy fluffy, fluffy avocado. avocado. Thanks to you, I have a squishy fluffy avocado. It's perfectly squishy too. Like perfect. April, uh, Denise said, uh, April 26th, our anniversary, going to Vegas with a stop at Ooh. Wendover 24th to the 29th. From, from Boise, Boise, Idaho. Wow. Denise, that is going to be so much fun. What, um, like, well, I, I don't want you to give it away, but like, what hotels are you most interested in seeing? Because I think one of the funnest things about Las Vegas is just going and seeing how they theme out those hotels, mm -hmm. like to the max. Right. It is so interesting. Even the shops are decorated. Like if you know what I mean? For different, right. whatever it is like Paris and Luxor and all those ones were always so cool to look Amy at. Amy said, Joe, but seriously, can we talk about the chow club box? If we order today, will it be for the box you were talking about or a different box? If you order today, it will be for the may box. It'll be the may box. Yeah. Blaine said, does she call you daddy? <laughs> <laughs> who's your grandpa that's a little creepy <laughs> um i had to build the dog house oh <laughs> he had to build her that's nice that that gets you back in heather says phil just stays in the dog house he likes it there you know if you <laughs> trick it out enough like you could like you could totally live in it yes i'm sorry i'm like my electrolytes have been so freaked up lately with lacrosse like i've been waking up with like cramps I mean, in the morning, my fingers like hurt. So what's your, what's your go-to for electrolytes right now? Uh, I drink one zip fizz every day and about four scoops of the, um, Redmond relights. And also at least, I don't know, you know, the little sample bottles of electro of keto chow, like one of those a day. Wow. Like I'm doing all of those and still not having enough. It's like more and more. <laughs> Uh, and he Annie says, said, I feel, yeah, our kids are 25, 26, 27, and 32. Wow. Were you like pregnant for just four straight years? That's awesome. 
you are always, we are always told we look too young for our age too. We are raising our grandkids. Everyone thinks they are our kids. I love that. That is awesome. Carmen says my oldest is turning 30 in August. Almost makes me feel old. No, you are young and amazing. Uh, Steph says he acts all lovey-dovey and starts cleaning the house, laundry, and cooks. Okay, yes. The cleaning the house is a definite love language. I did that when we were dating. Scooch up a little bit. I just didn't see that. Rhonda says my oldest daughter will be 39 wow. in June. Rhonda, you look amazing. No one is going to believe that you have a 39-year-old daughter. Um, Songbird says miss my trailer home. Deb says my husband did flowers. He passed about five years ago. Miss him. I'm so sorry for your loss, Deb. That's like... That's really hard. You've Look, got, I need you to live forever, please. Lori said, my husband's been in the doghouse since 2002. <laughs> That's awesome. Steph says, I let him get done and then let him know he's still in the doghouse. Like, thanks for cleaning, but like, yeah, you're still in trouble. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Squally says, stop through Jersey. I work at the largest theme, theme, uh, theme park on the East Coast. It would be such an adventure. Is that, great oh, adventure. yes. Is that the great Went adventure one? All the time growing up. Oh my gosh, how fun. He, um, health coach Janice says, my husband just shuts up for a day. All better. Yeah. Like, what gets me out of the doghouse with you? What gets you out of the doghouse? Like, house? if I'm in trouble with you, what, what makes you start being. I'm not allowed to say that on camera. <laughs> virtual hug from vincent thank you vincent. usually a hug, a hug okay is good. thank you that's good so karma says what happened to info on no joke challenge did i miss okay. it okay yeah no you didn't miss Thanks, it what Carmen. happened was our live stream went down yeah um okay so really what it is is we're gonna live stream next thursday next wednesday at 6 p.m and hopefully all of this is fixed um we have to buy a new camera between now and then it's not the camera um so Bronson's going to come on every Wednesday at six o'clock, answer questions. So next week he's going to come on. He's going to talk about everything that we're going to do. We're focusing on building lean muscle. And then every week after that, he's going to come back on at six on Wednesdays and we're going to discuss the week and he's going to answer all of your questions. So you're going to be able to go and he's going to be able to see the chat and he's going to answer questions regarding the challenge. He's going to be coaching everybody for free which this would normally be a cost. Yeah. It's free completely for our group. We're also going to have some, um, we were we were talking about like prizes, but instead of prizes, we're gonna have some giveaways at the end for everybody who participates. Also, Rachel has thrown a little twist in, which I really can't put it up now because I'm changed the way we're streaming right now. But for the money, you know how every month we have a May challenge or an April challenge or a March challenge or an inspirational thing to go along with the no joke challenge. We're going to work on it. It'll probably go up in the next couple of days in the Facebook family group or before then um, a calendar. And every day, has anybody ever watched Chopped? Yeah. Right. It's going to be a secret food and the you don't have to, but it'll be. Here's the food item of the day, and it's a pro high protein food. It could be like Sam veal, salmon, or salmon, or eggs, or brisket. It won't be or, veal. It won't be veal. I don't like okay. veal. Or cube steak, yeah. or something. And the challenge of the day will be: Can you make your meal for the day using this item? So we're going to give you the whole month up front, and then we will remind you of what it is the night before, so that you can do that. And then I'm going to say, post your pictures on our Facebook family group of what did you create with whatever that food is. Yeah. So, so if the food is a pork chop. Right. We're try I'm trying, and I'm trying to have things that are very. Rachel light. actually found 30 different proteins. Yeah. So that every day is different. Every day is different. And I tried to keep things that are very inexpensive so that like, you know, we're, we're always trying to help people understand that there's variety in keto, that it doesn't have to cost a fortune to do it. And then now like that we're trying to help provide some like added like movement and exercise and like answers to questions at no cost to hopefully help people, you know, to get started moving and, and just feel encouraged. That's, right. that's our real desire is to help facilitate when that. When wants to know what, does it matter what size box you order? No. So it, it, the 30 meal plan will come with what's in there. That's the 30 meal plan that he gave me. So Andy says, love the fear okay. factors. So is this, this is the same person, correct? Yeah. 
So, uh, Externia, you can, uh, we're going <laughs> yeah, to, we're going to go. take you out of here. Yeah. Thank you very much. So sorry. But okay. So Joe says, I will eat all the keto safe licorice you can find. I will do that for you. Awesome. So Deb says, yes, but Hilly, I'm waiting for the mushrooms to spring up. Okay, cool. Songbird says, got it. Thanks for your help. <laughs> he said to accidentally open the box like Autumn did. Oh, 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 wow. Did she open one early? Um, Claire says, can't wait to try the smart sleep from Equip. We love that stuff. We absolutely love it. Kelly says, I bought a bag of each flavor. Awesome. Shauna says, did Equip happen to get vanilla back in? I believe it's in. Carol says, hey, Joe, is the 30 or 60 day box on the Keto Chow Club? Either one. Blaine says, great sale made me suspend my perfect keto subscriptions. Yeah, I mean, and that's absolutely, the, that's the kind of thing we do. Like, I'll do it. Like, like the biggest Christmas subscription time. we get, like, I get the um, Fat Snacks crackers on yeah, subscription. Yeah. And, but sometimes they'll have a really good sale and I'm, I'm going to hold off on that or delay the subscription. I like to pay less money for things. Absolutely. <laughs> Betray said sports stuff. O o OMG, the straight blanche this year was amazing. <laughs> Stats are wildly powerful. At the one point, he was pushing over 1,300 watts. Uh, Shonda says, size, I hate no. daylight savings time. It's just, let's let, let it just stop already. It's done. Let's get rid of it. It, it ruins your week. Uh, Matreya says, 20 miles are good. Thank you. I was like so proud of myself. The only thing, what I, I forgot like how precious sidewalks were. I need to send a letter to my city manager for Coconut Creek and tell them like, thank you so much for some of the beautiful sidewalks. You don't appreciate it until you need them. Right family said raccoons are in the fi uh, cat family. Are they really? Well, this one was big. It was big. It looked, I thought it was like a Himalayan cat. Renee, thank you very much. You said that kindly to uh, Extrani or whatever yeah. name is to kindly press yes. the exit button. Thank you. Yeah, no, amen. No more daylight savings time. Right. Then, uh, let's not waste our time on negative people. Thank you, Danita. A tiny is cracking me up tonight. We're all over the place, right? Yeah, I don't know. Um, Someone said, uh, "Are there blue people and blue moderators?" Yes, that was it. Was taken care of. Thank you very much. Matreya says, for comparison, a good watt output for enthusiastic cyclists would be two hundred and fifty ish to two seventy five. Wow, that is awesome. That is amazing. There were some people like once I got closer to work at the Parkland area where they're like in a bike club, and those guys were were you know like they're all in a line biking. And I still had a little bit of a Mary Poppin pace to myself. And they're just like, you know, they're like passing me and looking and I have my new helmet on and my helmet has like this big light on it. And, and they're just like looking at me like, okay, you're new to this. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm pretty new. Uh, Blaine said, I know a great lady who does t-shirts in Texas. Blaine, send me an email. Yes, please. Um, usually we have our t-shirts made through Amazon. Um, just because I don't have to order a whole bunch of them, you know, like I don't want to have to buy like 200 t-shirts and have them sitting here and you have to guess the sizes yeah. and everything else. To me, it's much better to just do everything through Amazon. And then when you buy it, you're buying it from Amazon. We make, you know, a dollar or $2, but this way it's like print to order. And right. I like that better. And a lot of companies, a lot of YouTubers use, um, Teespring, Teespring which is actually linked to YouTube. I don't like Teespring. It's like two weeks to get a shirt. It takes a long time and they charge you a ridiculous amount of yeah. money for shipping. Whereas doing them through Amazon, it's it, free shipping if you have Amazon Prime. But I need a designer. I actually want to make some logos and stuff. But I'd love it. I mean, if the t-shirts are cheap enough very, and I can get them even cheaper, I would rather do that. We're not great artists. We're about like not charging a lot of money for stuff. Yeah. So. Um, Shauna says, Anthony is my spirit kid. He yeah. is, he was in rare he was form, in rare form on that keto box. Fanny oh likes switching over to daylight saving some because it's nice and sunny after work. That is definitely a bonus to it. It is it's nice. It's just the first couple weeks after Getting it. Getting used to it. People are in like depressed moods because they've lost the that hour and people um, are late to work. I was excited that our oven is on track again. <laughs> Right? Do you have that? What is that one item in your home? Maybe you don't have this problem, but like there's always one clock where we just never bother to change it because who cares? And and like it it's right now. 
Yeah. It's correct now. It just wasn't for the whole last six months. Jenna wants to know if you can mix equipped protein powder with keto hero. Yes, yeah. I do it every day. So my generally my breakfast is um, a scoop of keto chow. This way I'm getting some vitamins and some electrolytes in there. A scoop of equipped to up the protein, which now makes it 50 grams of protein. One egg, eight ounces of almond milk, and then water and ice cubes. So I end up with about 60 grams of protein to start off my day on my way out the door. Yeah. And I'm doing about 200. Because a lot a of people have a hard time getting the protein in. Yep. Um, it's probably the, it's funny. The biggest question we get lately is like, I just can't do it. And it's funny because Bronson and I were talking today. We did a, my check in, I check in with him every week. And he's like, you know, when you eat the higher protein one-to-one, -one, people talk about calories, you're actually eating less calories than you think you are. So you think you're eating a lot more food, but you're actually eating less energy calories when you start looking at, like, you're, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm eating so much food, but you're calorically eating less energy because your body does not use protein for energy. My baby so gained some- those calories don't count. My baby gained some muscle this week. <laughs> Be nice, Joe. <laughs> nice of you to delete your trashy comments, but I hope you leave uh, or get blocked. Your negativity is not Aww, welcome. Aw, you're we so need sweet, to make Renee. Renee needs to be yeah, a moderator. We, we on I know she's a moderator in the group, but. Jerry said, speaking of vacations, are you planning on the low-carb keto cruise in yes. May 2022? Hopefully, it'll still be. It'll uh, yes. So we are planning. I mean, right now, I mean, obviously, they canceled 2021. We are supposed to be speakers on the 2022 one. Um, so for the most part, unless, you know, something comes up where they have restrictions that we're not super comfortable with, our plan is to be on that cruise. Yeah. So, but hopefully we are cruising. I mean, there's still no end in sight of like when they're going to start uh, or end this cruise lockdown. Yeah. Oh, it's I can't read that comment because it says somebody's name who will get up. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, we do not want to be a witness to a murder. Exactly. <laughs> he said, all right, it's your mom, so you get to pass. Uh, Vincent says, OMG, build a bear. I work for them in customer service team. Vincent, oh, wow. thank you. Oh, my gosh. Do you know we how spent many, a lot of money there. Do you know how many build a bears like we have in our house right now? But and you stop just wanting the bears and you want to get like every other animal that's out. They're Vincent so wants cute. to know if we ever come to Colorado. Oh my goodness, I would love to go to Colorado. Lisa said, well, guys, it's almost time for bed. I'm going to say good night, even though I don't want to go. Thanks for being here. It Thank you guys for your patience. We yeah. really appreciate it. Health coach uh, Janice is glad you don't use the hotel coffee maker anymore. It was me who shared. Thank you. You totally saved me. And um, I don't know if you heard before, but like one of the guys on staff that was in a, obviously in another hotel room than me, um, but he had used the one in his room and he came down and he goes, it smells like kielbasa. Like it was smelled really weird. And I was like, oh man, I wish I would have like told you don't use your coffee maker because somebody said that they pour the old, their coffee water into the back tank and like use that to make coffee. So like they do weird things to it. And so it was like, oh, that explains a lot. So I'm sorry I didn't get him in time, but like, thank you for saving me. Uh, Rhonda wants to know if we're driving to Kentucky. We haven't decided yet. So we're, I don't know if we're going to drive or fly. I know. Autumn wants us to drive just to see the video that comes out of it. <laughs> oh, man. You, you know what we are going to do? Put kombucha in the back seat. No. Like we did when we were in Omaha. Uh, Oval wants to know if there's going to be a meal plan for the April challenge. Not really a meal, meal plan. plan. It is going to be based on uh, one to one. Yeah. Um, but you can do it however you want. And there's there, going to be movement. And then we're going to have the, the suggested protein source for the day. Right. And then I'm hoping that that you guys will come up with some really cool recipes that you enjoy and like help people learn how to use some of these meats. So, you know, people may know like, OK, if let's say the, the day is pork chop. And so, you know, grilled pork chop, you could keep it easy and simple, but like you could also try to elevate it like they would do on Chopped with right. some other like cool recipes because you guys are really brilliant. Um, just trying to camera, she doesn't. Renee said, I don't watch a channel if they are too serious. 2KK are my kind of people. Thanks. You're <laughs> my kind of people, Renee. Jason said, I really discovered this page and have been binge watching past videos. Thanks, Stop Jason. Slumber said, my cousin crocheted me a red, white, and blue horse. I love it. Oh, how sweet. 
I love that. I think that that is like brilliant. Yeah, I lost a giraffe to Miss T. A giraffe. <laughs> it was so cute too. And I know that like that my precious friend like worked so hard on it. Right. Sean said, started to sound like a falling build a bed recording heart. Oh, it was so scary. I'm sure. Sassy said, I got a question on checking blood ketones. Is 0.5 okay? Also, where does it need to be? It doesn't matter. If it says anything, you're in ketosis. You're in Don't ketosis. listen to people who say it's it's got to be a 0.5. Everybody's different. It, it's the, Especially, Steph, you've been doing keto for a while. The longer you're doing keto, the more efficient your body gets at utilizing uh, fat for fuel. Your body can actually get to the point where it's just utilizing the fat directly. And so if you've got a 0.3, a 0.4, you're in ketosis. You are creating ketones because your body doesn't just do ketones. You don't just have them unless you're drinking exogenous ketones. You don't just miraculously get ketones. Your body's got to be creating them. If you measure yourself in the morning, you're usually going to have lower ketones because of the dawn phenomenon. That's where you're usually going to have higher glucose. If you measure yourself after doing a bunch of exercise or something, you're usually going to have lower ketones because you've just used them. All you're measuring with a blood ketone meter is excess ketones that are in your blood. She just needs to look in the mirror mm -hmm. with her hot mama self. Yeah. Uh, Lena, unless the only reason you really want to have really high ketones is if you're like battling some kind of a brain thing, a brain thing if you're maybe worried about dementia or something like that, that's where you want to have high ketones. There is no way that Lynette is the grandmother of four and the great grandmother of three. You look incredible. Oh my gracious. Shauna said the pole will keep you out of the doghouse, Rachel. If we, yeah. Oh my gosh, I touched my nose. Jenna said Joe is frisky tonight. Uh, Lord have mercy. Oh, I'm, not, I'm, believe me, I'm in the doghouse when this is over. Oh yeah, he is. Uh, Pat said, I need lean muscle. I'm so excited. Awesome. I'm trying to like get to the end here real quick. Oh, good night, Matreya. Jesse Steph said, Joe is being a cool cat for Rachel after her raccoon experience. Oh my gracious. That was so frightening. Yeah, Rachel got a new bicycle. She got an electric bicycle so she can do like really long things, which if you think electric bicycle is not a workout, it's a workout. What it is, is it feels like a stationary bike that you take outside. I always like the feel of a stationary bike as far as like the smooth movement of it, but I'm like, I don't go anywhere. Right. It's and that I need a to treadmill for running. Yeah. For bicycling. So there's like, so, you know, you go on the sidewalk and it can be very like, bumpy it, it like kind of you can set it to where you know you're doing the work which is what i'm doing but the tires are really big and there's like just a smooth movement to it mm -hmm. and um you can go at a pretty decent clip i and if you get wind resistance you can kind of like up its involvement and then like you can continue going at the same speed without like losing momentum right which is what i really like uh, Blaine says six meal box comes with two different large bags. I asked Mary the other day. Uh, Heather is leaving. Steph said, just Bye, got a Heather. call for a free stay somewhere. Too bad I couldn't understand his accent. He gave uh, me a hung up. He was making me miss more important group. Aww. <laughs> April says school was canceled today because of weather. We had some rain. That's all. When I was a kid, we went to school and covered our heads with books, but yes. it gave me the day off. That is a that is so true. Like I can remember standing at like the bus stop and there was nothing, there was no covering. And I mean, you're just getting, it was sideways rain and, and it didn't matter. Like you were just out in the elements. Um, Marie said Arizona doesn't have daylight saving times. Yes. I have a friend of mine who moved from here to Arizona yes. and now recently got a promotion. He moved from Arizona to um, Virginia. Right. And he said to me, he sent me a message. He's like, I missed the time change thing because like, yeah, Arizona, no time change. And now he's stuck in a time change. He's yeah. Like, Best thing about Arizona, no time change. No time change. Does awesome. he say, what would the benefits of a quick clean carbs be over eating a fresh sweet potato? Um, I don't do carbs. It, Equip is a complete nutrition. You know, like they're about clean nutrition. So they do also cater to people who carb cycle would carb cycle. We or don't something do like that. that. That's something like Danny Vega would do because he's like, you know, he looks like he just walked off of the set of 300. He's like super into like heavy weightlifting and you know, he's, he's looking for different things. Like I personally for, don't see a reason to carb yeah. cycle. Um, I kind of go along with like keto savage, like you don't need it. Right. Um, but if, some people are wanna, way into if, it. If you are like a Danny Vega, then you could benefit from it. Um, but for me, I don't work out enough to ever be able to eat. 
go through all those cards. Right. I'm, I won't burn through those. Uh, let's see. Betraya said, lights are super important. I'm proud to hear you have one, your helmet as, uh, as well as your bike. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing too. On the back of my helmet, there's another light, which I really, really like. That is, I can I can indicate to the person, like if there's a car, that I'm going left or right. Yeah. And I feel so much safer it about that. It works either with your Apple Watch. If you signal, it'll, it actually yeah. knows. Or there's just a little button that goes because, on Because, yeah, that, on our handlebars. that scares me. And I'm I'm riding my brake very early in the morning. And it's still dark. I mean, it was, it was really, really dark. I'm upset because my bike came and the battery is shot. Uh, so so I now I have to, like, I'm so excited. My bike's here. We're taking the keys. And we were going to literally ride our bikes from one key to the other, which is the whole reason that we got the electric bike so that we can do like 20 to 30 mile bike rides because right. these bikes have a range of a hundred miles. They, on average, you're gonna get about 60 miles, but you can go 60 to hundred miles because again, you're pedaling. It's just assisting your pedaling. Yeah. And so we were gonna movement. go from one key to the other on our bikes. Like I was even thinking about like riding our bike from the key that we're gonna be on all the way down to Key West, which was yeah. like 33 miles. And yeah, my bike came and I went to put it together and something's wrong with the battery, it got damaged in shipping. So they're sending me a new battery, but it will not be, be here, here in time, time for I'm our sorry trip. for that. So I'm, I'm very I did go to that. Walmart this afternoon and get my fishing license. Yeah. Because I'm going fishing. We need to go do that. We need to get some fishing rods tomorrow. Chris wants to know what flavor Fat Snacks is my subscription for. Fat Snacks. I get the... Um, you get the cheddar and you get the everything. I get the cheddar and the everything. I get one of each. That pops. everything is like really good. If my mom sees it, she she snacks the bag. <laughs> is that what happens to her? Yes. I pay for those. I know. But but mother-in-law, she, get, she gets to just... Start hiding those things. Seize the time. Hey, Joe, tried your chili. Very yummy with some keto variations. Also get many products that you listed and all are excellent. My wife likes the goodies. Thanks. Happy wife, happy life. Well, thanks so much so, for trying yeah, it. Our chili, we have two different chilies. One's using keto chow. What I like is it's really versatile and you can change it up. You cannot use peppers. You cannot use on onion. You can use bacon. Sometimes we make it with I just love beef. It. Sometimes we make I it with I love it pork. with bacon. Yeah. So... Um, Carmen said, unless it's a large can of tuna or a big hunk in chicken breast, I've always had to add a premier shake to my day just to get to 120. Yeah. And those, those premier shakes are very delicious. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Steph says, I, I think did. that Joe skipped the T-A-B-I-T-H-A comment. <laughs> Well, I said, I see my carbs sneaking up a little. I think too much perfect keto cinnamon MCT and peanut butter collagen. The awesome thing is, is that if you don't feel like your optimum, you can dial it back. Yeah. I love now, that. I do remember that. Um, so both of those, I'm not sure like what, I mean, again, we, we really push doing a net carb with a total carb cap. Uh, what you're seeing on the perfect keto MCT and the collagen, the newer labels, that is not really the net carbs. And that is because they have acacia gum in them, which the US government has now decided is not a fiber, but it is. And uh, you are not supposed to be deducting it. So they're not deducting it on the label, but you can. So, but that's a good thing. So if you're looking at like, I'm at three total carbs, you're really more at like one or two net carbs on a serving of those. But it's, I, again, I always say, go on the high side, it's not gonna hurt you. That's right. Oh, oh my gosh. So Build-A-Bear had the chop, has Grogu? Got it for wifey, loved it. Hello? Oh. I did not know that they sold one of those. We have to get one of those. Uh, Cybernut said, coming up 81 North Stop in Hagerstown, Maryland. Plenty of campgrounds, very close to uh, Oh, Oh, the, and the Antietam. Oh, okay. Then head to Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Who named that town? Yes. Right, seriously. Are you going to give us a list in advance to plan? Yes, yes we are. Absolutely. Was there a movie or show that had a character with the nickname Pork Chop? I feel like yes. I think so. I feel there, yes. What was that? It was a kid show. Oh, Madeline, it? thank you very much for drawing my name for the Keto Chocolate Club. My birthday was yesterday. This is a great gift. Well, let's Make sure you birthday. send us an email at joe with two crazy ketos.com with all of your shipping information. And we'll send it out to you, but let's sing happy birthday to Madeline. Happy, happy birthday to, to happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Madeline. Madeline. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you and many more. Rhonda said cruise lines are going to implement mandatory vaccinations for cruisers. I'm, I'm, 
I'm excited to see what's going to happen. We just want to know what, yeah. like, what is, what all is happening. <laughs> and see some jackrabbits. Uh, Vincent wants a Peloton, but so expensive. They are ridiculously expensive. What is that? The Peloton. That's the, that's like the treadmill where you put up the screen. Oh yeah. Like you, you do feel like you're someplace else. Yeah. That's kind of cool. But yeah. Mm. Diane says, I called my daughter Cheddar Bite when she was a baby. How cute is that? Janita okay. had a Peloton and gave it away. Not my thing. I really love Ring Fit. Oh my gracious. So there was a, there's a little girl at church and we were in class and she just kept like running around the table and running around the table and running. And I thought, and I, and I said, Ember, like what's going on? And she showed me that for her birthday, she asked for basically like a Fitbit type thing, but like a kid version where it counted her steps. And she was she was competing against herself for how many steps she could get. She's a little tiny thing. And um, she, she shows me 5,000 steps. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I have one too. And I had had a long walk that morning. So I leaned over and I was like, look, Miss Rachel's got 9,000 steps. And she just looked at me like, challenge accepted. And then just kept running around the table and I thought, Oh Lord, I hope she didn't think I was saying like, you know, not good enough, but it, it was just so funny. But I thought that was really cute. What a fun thing. I mean, she's only like seven years old, but she is way into I can't it. I believe how old she's gotten already. Oh, Carol said, Joe and Rachel, what do you do if you have physical injuries in order to do some kind of movement to get lean muscle? So Bronson is going to talk about that. He's got variations for all the different things yep. he does. I have lots of limitations for myself. Like I have tinnitus in my wrist and I have, I have dislocated my elbow. That's why I can't straighten my arm. So there are different things you can do um, to like kind of alter it. But the bottom line is any movement is good movement. Yeah. Dr. Barry talks about if you can't do a whole lot and all you can do is sit up and stand down, just do that several times. If your only movement for the day is going to get the mail from the mailbox, do it three times. You just tripled your movement for the day. Exactly. And that is always going to help you. Um, Rhonda said, I increased my protein a year ago or so. I upped it more after your protein video. I'm up a few pounds. I eat more because lifting, but um, I'm down one size. Great Someone job. asked if I was trying to disappear. Yeah. Aww. And it's weird that you have to, and believe me, it's hard for me too. You have it to is. ignore the number on the scale and pay attention to your size because if you're going to gain muscle, muscle weighs more than fat. It does weigh so, something. I mean, it, it's not it's zero funny pounds. when you say that, but it's like when you put on a pound of muscle, like it's very little in size as yeah. opposed to losing a pound of fat. So if you put on a pound of muscle, but you lose a pound of fat, you, or it's, even if you put on two pounds of muscle, you're going to go up in weight, but you're going to way go down in size. So that's what's really important. And we're very hard on ourselves with that. We want both of those things. We want like no pounds and more muscle. I mean, think about like, look at old pictures of like The Rock. It was like 270 pounds. Now look at a picture of me when I weighed 270 pounds. Little different, very di right? Well, Same height. Well, and I don't think that you think that if The Rock steps on the scale today that he weighs zero pounds, right. even though he's got very little body fat. I know. We're almost done and we've got to get off. But I have to mention because Autumn has a new clothing line coming out. And she has men's tank tops. No. And I said, I nope. would buy a tank nope. top. No men's tank but tops. But Rachel has nope. a serious thing about men's tank tops. And she said that nope. you need to re-examine this. No. Nope. Because, like, she thinks men look good in tank And I nope. said, you think even The Rock does nope. not look good in a tank top. No. Nope. Right? You rather No shirt at all. No. Nope. Right? They can do no shirt, but not Here, a tank top. Here's the thing. Can, can she, you explain that? She's, she's a baby. Okay, I am an older lady, an older statesman, and I lived through the 80s and tank tops and guys, like the late 70s, early 80s. Well, we're not talking about like the string. It's it has it has hurt. It has injured me. Okay, okay. seeing that has like vis visually injured me. But I, I want a tank top. I no. <laughs> No tank tops in this house. You can. I am sure that she has sleeved options which are gorgeous. But the tank tops look cool. And you may purchase two shirts for every tank top you feel like you're missing out on. <laughs> that's my guarantee. That's my love to you. Get two shirts for the price of one tank top because, like, I cannot do How that. How about if I body paint Watch Autumn Keto across my chest? Like no shirt. No shirt is fine. Okay. I don't think so we're getting that clear. I like do, you don't want to see me with no shirt. I don't think she like wants the rock you, with no shirt. Is I good. don't think she wants you advertising her company that way. But like, I appreciate the gesture. I know you love her, but like, 
yeah, but don't but don't do it like that. But okay. wear a shirt, a regular shirt. Yeah. Every, so, every. Vincent, um, do you guys recommend any good keto bakeries that ship nationwide? I'm going to recommend two. I'm going to recommend Crave Bakehouse, which just sent us. I don't know if you saw that. I did not. Um, we're going to make that video tomorrow. Some two things. Oh, Steph, thank you very much for the $10 super chat. Or you can't say that word. We needed to see her. C-A-B-I-T-H-A. Um, um, Crave Bakehouse, which they just sent me the peanut butter and jelly donuts. Yum. But more importantly, the bagels and the pizza crust. That's what I'm really that. excited That's about. That's what we're going to try tomorrow. Also, the another one I'm going to recommend, um, which I'm working on something with us. Um, it's called a company called Just Made Keto. And they're gonna they do stuff for children. Their their children are actually um have are Autism. special needs children. Mm -hmm. And so they like to bring awareness for that. And so um they've offered us to like be an affiliate and I've informed them I don't want to be an affiliate. What I would like them to do is pass that discount that they would give us off to our subscribers. So I am working on that right now to bring awareness because their whole goal is bringing awareness to special needs. So that would be just made keto and they have some incredible products. Yeah. Because there's still, you know, there's, there's time in our life to celebrate mm -hmm. with like big treats yep. and um, especially for kids having, you know, birthday parties and things like that. We don't want anybody to miss out on the flavors of childhood. We would like them to miss out on like the sugared up uncomfortable feelings right. that associated with our personal childhood. <laughs> but those are the two that we really recommend because their ingredients are very clean. And yeah. that is the hard thing. They're, they're not using vital wheat gluten. They're not using like any kind of like fiber syrups. And those are the things that I'm always trying to be careful about. Um, Songbird, oh, scroll up one second. Ooh. I don't like this. Starting to it lose. wants to show it on the starting screen. Starting to lose you again. Oh, okay. There, are we starting to go out? Doesn't look like it, but we're getting off. But have a good night. Yep. Keto Cakes Utah, video getting choppy. Well, we are going to get off. Anyway. All right. Crave Big House. So Thanks so here. much for being here with us and like being patient during this time. Yep. And we'll try to see what's going on behind the scenes. 